Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel WSG. Today we are going to understand very very basics of investing and also at the very same time I'm going to clear some very very basic myths which are prevalent in the stock market in the minds of people. So all are going to get cleared in this very very important video. If not subscribe to this channel immediately subscribe to it and hit the bell icon for getting the regular updates and of course let me tell you there are videos which are uploaded daily which will broaden your horizon which will make you many notches higher in your analysis both technical and fundamental so immediately subscribe to it for getting the regular updates now often you would have heard your friends, your relatives, your near and dear ones speaking about that my portfolio is doing awesome. My portfolio is doing great. My portfolio is giving me so many returns. Now you are always confounded and confused how to make my own portfolio. Should I invest in stocks? Should I invest in mutual funds? Or should I invest in gold? The question comes from where to begin. So in this very very important video we are going to understand why we should have our own portfolio especially when there are myths around that uh, you know in stock market is full of crashes scandals scams companies fail companies break down your money goes into vain it goes it goes into drain there's covid covid crash so the, you are confounded all the time that whether you should invest or whether you should keep your monies in very very safe investments like government bonds or maybe fixed interest so uh, fr friends we are going to understand why the stock markets are the important assets for making money and as a beginner how should you begin now the biggest myth which people have that stock market is like a casino where you just put your money it, uh, you, it there are chances that it may grow it may fail so friends let me tell you it's just not like that let me tell you because of this fear that the uh, stock market is like casino only three percent of indians invest in stock market i'll reiterate only three percent of indians invest and same is the case with global markets as well where in us and various other countries the investment uh, in stock market is slightly higher however people are always confused and always confounded whether the stock markets are the right place to invest or not so out of these out of these only five percent of indians invest in mutual funds two percent in stock market directly and three percent in mutual funds as uh, per se so in that three percent or five percent category only 93 percent of men invest out of that three percent so i'm just bringing the breakdown of that three to five percent people who invest in stock market directly or indirectly out of them only three percent on 93 percent of are men and seven percent just seven percent are the women so you can understand the kind of uh, uh, the ignorance which is there in the in the people's mind in the people who want to invest that seven percent so 93 percent of uh, the investors are men and seven percent are just women so where are women investing are they not investing at all if this is the scenario then people like Warren Buffett will definitely have a head crash and he will just go to you know I don't know where so he the people like Warren Buffett he has started to invest from the age of 13 and he considers himself that he has been late in investing while he was 13 so now I'll bring out what is a stock and how does stock market began what is the genesis of stock market whether it is a, a casino or whether it's a right place to invest so let me tell you that in 17th century in 17th century there was the first company which got listed and its name was in fact it was the uh, the company which made the collection from people which, which was dutch east india company and let me tell you the kind of money it generated from the market was equivalent to present day apple plus facebook plus google so that was the case in 17th century so you can understand even i'm having goosebumps the kind of money it raised from people for expanding its business in 17th century now even the biggies can't collect that amount of money from people and why it became so big it became so big because there were no investment or avenues there were no companies there was no stock exchange people wanted to grow and people knew that companies like dutch east india company which is having offshore and a great business business model and it is expanding to various nations like the, the kind of growth it can show is immense that is the reason why people invested despite knowing that there was no broking app they could not buy it was just a money which they invested and gave to the company for the growth now if you compare 
present there are companies there are blue chip companies there are so many investment avenues there are stock exchange broking apps where you can just click buy now and your stock gets bought and if you want to sell within five seconds you can even sell so now you are comfortable or you were comfortable in 17th century even if you are not investing right now i think you are doing a big big mistake now as a beginner always the question which comes in your mind is should i invest first of all the very first question which must be clarified is should you invest now the first question which is should you invest i just want to say that you must why because if you do not invest your money will be staling every single day because of inflation now the question which comes second in your mind is where to invest this is the question which you keep asking your friends asking your relatives near and dear ones and you can, do not get the right answer so what i'll tell you is if you you want to invest in stock market so i'll just clarify the basics stock exchange is a place where the listed companies are there for exchange the exchange hands the stocks get exchange hands with the help of broker and who is a broker present earlier there were brokers who used to sit in exchanges in wall street and uh, in dalal street they used to sit and they used to do the share transaction however now in uh, now there are so many broking terminals there are robin hood at uh, robin hood app there is jazeroda app there is icic securities sgfc securities and so on there are so many brokers which are having their swift uh, portals if you have not opened the account till now in any dmat account the dmat account link is right there in the description you can open the account right now now if you want to buy a stock the once you hit a buy that you want if you want to buy a stock you just go to a broking terminal you open your broking account you just see a shortlist a stock and you just press the buy button immediately the order goes to the broking uh, server from there it goes to exchange where there is already a seller which has uh, which has already fed it's selling order now the exchange this is the place where the buying and selling transaction happens and you buy a stock and the sellers sells a stock through this broking terminal now a very very important and very very swift app which is present nowadays and very very reasonable cost at very very reasonable cost you can buy a stock as less as if you talk in indian currency it is as less as 0.01% so what all do you need to buy a stock you just need to have a dmat account where you need to just shortlist a stock where, where you can just shortlist a stock and immediately press a buy button and you buy that stock now which quality stock you need to buy for that you need to have fundamental and technical analysis in place if you talk about india in india there are two exchanges nse and bse national stock exchange and bombay stock exchange where the listed companies are traded not all the companies like there is company like amul there is company like parley they are not listed there are so many companies which are not, still not listed and still doing that that's so so great so there are listed listed companies which are traded and uh, in bse there is an index which uh, bse has made of top 30 companies which is called sensex in nnse there is a there is an index of top 50 companies which is called nifty so uh, nifty comprises of 50 top 50 companies of nsc and census comprises of top 30 highest market cap stocks which is uh, which is called as sensex okay so this is what i want to tell you is and so are the exchanges in various other countries like s and p 500 in us and nyse new york stock exchange there is s and p 500 where are where there are top 500 companies listed in uh, listed in s and p 500 so why do we keep index we keep index because people do not track the uh, individual stocks of any country so closely however they definitely track the index of company because index directly shows the performance of country's market country's economy that is the reason why people track index how is nasdaq doing how is uh, dow doing how is uh, s p 500 doing how is bsc that is sensex doing how is nifty doing so for India, for if you want to invest in India, there is a BSE and there is NSE. In, a, in BSE, you just want to buy a stock, you just need to have a good DMAT account. So how do you start investing? You just need to have a good DMAT account. And if you require a big capital, the big, biggest question which comes in your mind is, do you require lakhs to invest? Let me tell you, friends, you just require as less as 100 rupee or maybe 500 rupees to invest in a good quality stock. 
Now, once you have shortlisted a stock, first of all, you need to know which stock you want to invest. If you want to know that which stock do you need to invest, you just need to do the analysis in three simple steps. One is the stock should be fundamentally good. What does this mean? It means the company should have good numbers. It should be posting good profits. It should be having good management. And it, of course, it should have good track record and should not be full of scams. So this is what is fundamental good company is. I'll be making the separate fundamental analysis playlist in which you can get to know which stock is fundamentally good i will make the subsequent playlist of fundamental analysis number two is the technical analysis what does technical analysis do see fundamental analysis lets you know the good stock however the technical analysis lets you know the right price so if you want to uh, buy a good stock you can of course shortlist it with the with the help of fundamental analysis but if you want to buy a good stock at good price then of course you must do the technical analysis to find that stock at the best price and last but not the least you must always have diversification you must not always have good stock stocks of all banking stocks in your portfolio or if you are having all the good stocks of uh, uh, IT industry in your portfolio that's also not right because somehow something may happen in that particular industry and that may bring your portfolio to almost crash so uh, what you need to do is you need to diversify you need to have good stocks of multiple industries in your portfolio that even if one sector is somehow face facing the uh, winds you are always in green so there are two ways how to analyze a stock as a consumer and as an analyst. How to analyze a stock like a consumer? What do you eat? What do you have eaten in the morning? What brisket you have in the morning? What slippers you are wearing? What clothes you wear? Which mall do you go? In toilets once you go, what soap you are having? What, uh, uh, what, uh, what toothbrush you are using? What paste you are using? You will find that HUL, Hindustan Unilever Limited is everywhere. In soap, in Pepsodent, once you go out, you need to have a card. So what, what, what is that credit card which you are using? What is the banking which you are using? So the things which are around you as a consumer, you must consider them as fundamentally good because if the stock is good if the product is good then only the stock is going to be good now coming on to how to analyze an analyst then of course you must analyze it with the help of fundamental and technical analysis so technical analysis videos I have already started to post. This is my first video of fundamental analysis. I will start to post fundamental analysis videos subsequently in which you will gain hell lot of knowledge friends. And let me tell you, this is all free. Now, if you can't do even this, then you must straight away go and invest in mutual funds or maybe index funds. Why? Because index funds are managed by already. They are already managed. They're already there is some, uh, uh, you know, some good uh, educated guy who educated people who are already managing the index and and uh, discarding the bad or underperforming stocks and including the good and the better performing stocks. So you can indirectly invest in uh, stock market with the help of mutual funds. And there are two kinds of mutual funds that is active and passive. The passive mutual funds are like index funds. Active mutual funds are like other mutual funds like access blue chip fund or some uh, specific mutual funds which you see which, which are very well managed however passive mutual funds are like uh, index funds which are uh, not uh, you know the, the, the expense ratio of pa passive mutual funds is very very less that is the reason why I personally invest in passive mutual fund and personally sp speaking as a disclaimer I invest in ICIC Prudential Nifty Index Fund because I consider the expense ratio as to be very very less in passive mutual funds. Now you have to give me your opinion which stock is in your radar right now which you want to buy right now which you think is fundamentally good and also technically looking very very strong let me know your uh, in your comment section and of course do not let me do not forget to let me know which is your favorite stock in your case if you are having more than two favorite stocks let me know in the comment section which are the favorite stocks which you are having in your portfolio which you never want to sell let me know in the comment section we'll be having a great great uh, discussion and uh, let me tell you friends this is a very very important video share with your friends so that they also get educated and that fear of stock market runs away and the people which are afraid of investing in stock market get a better horizon and a better investment and a better future in times to come thank you so much for giving your precious time bye bye for now